Free Players TV, myself, the tease. Oh my gosh, Arsenal have done the business tonight and they're beating Wolverhampton at Molyneux by two goals to zero. Two goals to nil. Listen, I'm with my man Curtis. Yeah, yes, yes, people. outside the Emirates. Free Players TV. The cannons. Let's look at the cannons. Let's get the cannons in. Jeez. What? Oh. Yes. Three pointers TV. It's your guy Curtis, clocking yes. Curtis. I'm here yep. with T. Shout out Dub, shout out Marty. To be fair, we were slow to settle in. I was obviously watching it at the toilet and shout out the toilet. And, but I think we, we had a calm and composed like performance. So, you know, even for, like, especially like from the back four, like Gabriel Saliba, solid. Solid defensively. Ben White, you know, solid, so, solid performance, like, you know, defensively inverting. And then Kivio, Kivio, man, this guy doesn't get enough credit. Like, you got to think, this guy's not even a natural left back, yeah? He's a left centre back and he's putting in a shift at left back. Into the, into the midfield, Odegaard, you know, with the magic. You know, when Mesut Ozil left our club, people were concerned, oh, central attacking midfielder, creativity, where are we going to get it? And you know, we had Odegaard and a couple of loans, what have you, they went permanent. Like this guy was 30 million pounds. 30 million pounds plus five million add-ins. He's been absolute class for our club. He's Mesut Ozil for work rate, honestly, silky. And obviously with Havertz, you know, in the midfield, like fair enough, Havertz was not playing in midfield for ages, but he gave us that attacking outlet that we needed. And obviously Declan Rice, silky, yeah, another man in the match performance again. And then obviously on to, you know, our forwards, Saka. People have been getting on to Saka because he's had a couple of quiet games. But today he did the business, you know, he looked good. He looked good attacking wise, you know, opportunities for shots and assists. You know, Jesus didn't look too bad, but obviously, you know, Leandro Trossard with the goal. He opened it up for us because it was a stalemate, it was checkers. You know, it was a checkmate until he scored. I see Martinelli coming quite late, I believe. You know, he had a couple of opportunities, he looked alright. And obviously I know that Partey came on as well. Partey didn't came on for Jesus and you know Partey got some valuable minutes. And you know, what I'm pleased is that the boys bounced back after obviously, you know, this week some people may say it's an absolute shambles, that it was diabolical. You know, we're just unfortunate that, you know, we knew it was gonna be a tough game at Aston Villa at home. And unfortunately, you know, we did play cup well in that game, but it was unfortunate to see can see two goals at Aston Villa at home. And obviously, we went away to Bayern Munich, what was going to be another tough ask. And unfortunately, we lost 1 0 away to Bayern Munich and going out 3 2 on aggregate in the Champions League. So it's good the boys have bounced back. Obviously, we've got a number of games, you know, this, let's not get carried away. You know, we've got Chelsea at home on Tuesday, we've got Tottenham Hotspurs away on Sunday. Uh, then I believe it is Bournemouth at home, Manchester United away. We've got Everton and then at Everton home. Everton at well. home. So, guys, let's take it game by game. Obviously, fingers crossed, Manchester City drops points. I know it's, it's going to be a tough ask. And I know that they don't have a great record home and away against Tottenham Hotspur. And Tottenham Hotspur is not playing particularly great at the moment. But fingers crossed that Tottenham Hotspurs get a draw or win against Manchester City. And we ask to win our next five games. But look, come on, look. We have to think about it. You know, back to back eight finishes. Yeah. Then we challenged for the Champions League spot, the fourth spot, we come fifth. Last year we come second, we competed for the Premier League title. This season we competed again. I know this week, you know, we were all feeling down, especially after like the two losses, Aston Villa at home in the Premier League and Bayern Munich away. And all we saw saying, all sorts of madness, like, you know, sack the manager, bring another manager in. But the reality is like, the guy has transferred the club, transformed the club. And even if we get rid of our team, who are you going to bring in? Like, maybe Jurgen Klopp. Jurgen Klopp ain't going to stay in English football. So we need to just get behind the boys, behind the manager. We go again Tuesday night, under the lights, eight o'clock kickoff, Chelsea home. Let's do this. Come on guys, come on you gunners. Let's do this. Let's do Up this. the gunners.